Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial on custom logo animation. Today you'll learn how to easily animate this type of logo animation in After Effects. But before that, if you want to learn the basics of After Effects in depth, we've already created some classes for you. Check out my master classes on my YouTube channel. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's begin the tutorial. But before that, I would like to tell you that you can download the vector logo file and follow the tutorial with me. The download link is in the description below. So first things first, let's create a new composition. Then give this composition a name. You can see the rest of the settings below. Click OK. Quickly import the vector logo file. Here is our logo file. At this point, pay attention when you import the file. Make sure you choose Import as Composition, Retain Layer Sizes. Then simply import the file into After Effects. Drag and drop it into the composition. Then open this composition. You can see six illustrator layers, and each one contains a letter. Right now, they're illustrator layers, and we have to change them into shape layers. So select all the layers, right click, then choose Create, and select Create Shapes from Vector Layer. Our illustrator layers are converted into shape layers. Now we can delete the illustrator layers. Then, simply rename the layers one by one. Good. Let's start from the letter P. So I'll make it a solo layer and lock it. Let me expand the view so you can see it better. Also, I'll turn on the safe area guides. Then I select the pen tool and make a line from the center of the composition like this. You can hold shift on the keyboard while making perfect horizontal and vertical lines. Let me adjust the shape. That's looking good to me. Now, rename the layer to P Reveal. Then add trim paths to this layer. Under the trim paths, add keyframes for the start and end values, and change the values like this. Then move the time indicator forward, and again make keyframes by changing the values. Then select all the keyframes and ease them. Then select only the start keyframes and move them forward a bit. Nice, the basic animation is ready. Then go to the last keyframe of this layer and change the start value to match the shape of the P. Let's see how it looks. That's good, but I want to adjust it a little bit to get a satisfying result. Then simply select these keyframes and open the graph editor and change the graph something like this. Check the RAM preview. It's looking nice. Let's put the layer P below the P reveal layer. Then go to the search bar and type path to reveal the path properties of this layer. You can see two paths here. And we can rename these paths to remember them easily. After that, make it four keyframes Then go back to the first keyframe. I will change one by one. So select the first keyframe, then select the pen tool, and click on one of the path points. Then hold Alt on the keyboard and drag the mouse to select multiple points of this shape. If any point is left, you can select it by holding Shift, then clicking the point. Then double click any of the selected points to view this box. Basically, this box helps you to change the selected points together. Now I can change the shape of this box like this. Take your time, but align it perfectly. I see that those handles, but I can easily change them. All right, then move forward to the second keyframe. And again, change the shape something like this. Again, move forward to the third keyframe and change the shape something like this. Let's see the RAM preview. 
That's looking good. We can ease them now. And after easing, see how smooth it is now. Now we can adjust the timing of the layers to get the desired look. And now I can change the color as well. And this is the final look of the animation. Alright folks, I hope you understand the process of this animation. I suggest you animate the rest of the letters. The process of the animation is the same, so I skip the rest of the letters. So I animated rest of letters, and we are ready to move forward. First, I'll start from the base of this tree. First, I solo the layer, then select the pen behind tool to change the position of the anchor point from the center to the bottom of this shape. Then go back to the first frame and press S on the keyboard to see the scale properties. Then I add a keyframe here, then I move the time indicator forward and create one more keyframe here. Now the important part, I uncheck this icon so that I can change the X and Y values individually. Then I change the Y value of the scale from 100 to 0%. Then I ease the second keyframe. Check the RAM preview. Nice. It's time to add an effect called CC Bend It. Drag and drop it on this layer. Then set the start point of this effect at the bottom. And the end point should be at the top. Now you can see we can bend this shape very easily. So at this point, I add a keyframe. Then I go back to the first frame and add one more keyframe here. Then I add another one between these keyframes and change the value of bend. And lastly, I add the last keyframe here and change the value back to normal. Check the preview and if needed, adjust the keyframe position and value. There is no perfect number or value to use this bend effect. Now I can ease them. That's looking good. Now I solo the plant layer and drag them forward where the trunk animation finished. Then I open the scale properties and add a keyframe and change the value from 100 to 0%. Then move the time indicator and change the value to 105%. Then the third keyframe should be 95% and the last one is 100%. One more thing, the anchor point of this shape is at the center of this shape, so I want to change it from the center to the bottom of this shape like this. Let's check the RAM preview. Alright, so everything looks good now. I can adjust the timing of layers to finalize the animation. So I select tree layers and drag them forward. Now let's see the RAM preview. I feel the trunk animation should be a bit faster. That's looking good. Before closing this tutorial, I have a bonus tip for you. So select all the layers except tree layers, and pre-comp them, and name this composition to text animation 1 and make sure to check this box and click OK. Then simply duplicate the layer. Then slide the first layer forward a bit and select the second layer and go to Effects, Generate, and select the Fill Effect. Then simply choose the tree leaf color. Then play the RAM preview. So you will get a wonderful animation like this. I hope you enjoyed this logo animation tutorial and learned something new today. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. That's it for now. See you in the next video.